let's take the derivative of the arc sine of x to the third. First step is going to be taking the derivative with respect to x of both sides. So we have dy dx equals d dx of arc sine of x to the third. Now let's define x to the third as being equal to u. So now we can rewrite this as dy dx equals d dx of arc sine of u. Now we have a function in terms of u being differenti differentiated with respect to x. So we're going to have to use chain rule here. So dy dx equals du dx times d du of arc sine of u. Now the derivative of arc sine of u with respect to u is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. du dx is going to be, well if we take the derivative of u with respect to x, we get du dx, just taking the derivative of this equation right here, both sides of that. So du dx is going to equal, using power rule, we get 3x squared. So we have du dx, which we can replace in our equation down here, to say du dx is going to be equal to 3x squared. So 3x squared times 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared dy dx dy dx equals so now the final step here is going to be dy dx equals make that multiplication so we get 3x squared over the square root of 1 minus and uh, I guess we do have one more step. U is equal, like we set up here, U is equal to X to the third. So we have, replacing U, we have X to the third squared. Now going down, we have dy dx, now this is our final step, equals 3x squared over square root of 1 minus x to the, um, when we have uh, an exponent to an exponent like this, x to the third to the second power, uh, we multiply, so we get one square root of one minus x to the three times two is six, and we are done.